Several weeks ago, I had posted a video called the WWV Ghost Signal. This video was a demonstration of part of the WWV broadcast that had been uh, really in a continuous uh, state of anomaly for almost 20 years uh, that I can recall. Uh, this occurred when WWV uh, switched to an automated uh, text-to-speech engine for most of its automated broadcast schedules such as the solar uh, conditions and other special announcements usually found on minute 4, 8, uh, 10 sometimes and 18. And part of the uh, interesting uh, artifact that this uh, text-to-speech engine has uh, is a very low bit rate or sample rate that caused a tremendous amount of audio aliasing to occur as seen uh, here in the bottom part of the screen. These are the exact transmissions uh, before and after the video was published. And you can see on the top screen now that uh, the bandwidth uh, is well contained a lot better. Uh, there's no uh, out-of-band artifacts as you could see from the bottom screen. The bottom screen is uh, the, the uh, solar conditions as well, and the artifact uh, would always occur plus or minus 16 kilohertz uh, from the fundamental carrier of the broadcast and could be demodulated in either upper sideband or lower sideband uh, 8 kilohertz from the 16 kilohertz offset. And you can see the uh, results here. Again, the bottom screen is a uh, view we're looking at 48 kilohertz of uh, uh, the transmission uh, from WWV on 18 minutes after the hour and now we're looking at the correction on the top uh, with the audio low pass filter employed or some other adjustment was made recently to fix the problem. Well this had uh, again gone on for uh, I'm thinking close to 20 years now uh, and uh, it's only been uh, in the last week that uh, I noticed uh, the correction. So it's really great that uh, this has happened. I'm sure it uh, was unnecessary to have a 48 kilohertz wide uh, signal, uh, but it is interesting that the transmitter able to pass that. So uh, interesting stuff. I just wanted to do a follow-up. If you want to see the original ghost signal, uh, just uh, look for my video titled uh, WWV Go Signal. You'll see the video on the bottom part of the screen here uh, independently. And it will, I uh, uh, think it's about three or four minutes long, pretty, uh, pretty brief. And you can see where the bandwidth curtain is on the bottom part of the screen. We're 16 kilohertz from the fundamental. And on the top, you can see that's about uh, 20 kilohertz of uh, bandwidth uh, listening right on the fundamental. Well, let's go ahead and listen in here to the full uh, correction. At the tone, 15 hours, 18 minutes, coordinated universal time. Solar terrestrial indices for February 5th follow. Solar flux 126 and estimated planetary A index 12. The estimated planetary K index at 1500 UTC on February 6th was 3. No space weather storms were observed for the past 24 hours. No space weather storms are predicted for the next 24 hours. Okay, next is going to be the full uh, screenshot of the anomaly. Look at, look at where the bandwidth is. We're 16 kilohertz from the fundamental. And there's the uh, header of the 18 minutes after the hour and the solar conditions 16 kilohertz away. Solar terrestrial indices from March 6th follow. Solar flux 77 and estimated planetary A index 16. The estimated planetary K index at 1800 UTC on March 7th was 3. No space weather storms were observed for the past 24 hours. No space weather storms are predicted for the next 24 hours. 
Okay, and there was the aliasing signal. You could see we were tuned 16 kilohertz plus from the fundamental.